was this big, like three years old. I got a drum set from my godfather, who is a drummer himself. And he was playing jazz music. So during my whole childhood, I always had the feeling that the jazz oriented music was the, the real music. He was like, uh, you know, he was giving me the feeling that that was where uh, a musician and a drummer especially could be able to uh, express himself. To me, structures are not that important, but uh, then again, I also kind of like structures. Oh yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to try to be as free as possible in every context, no matter if it's if it's jazz standards or free improvisation. You can also get completely uh, stiff in, in so-called free improvisation and somebody can be really free in playing jazz standards. Tonight we play tunes and, and arrangements and melodies and even popular melodies, so... Mm. I don't know how you, how you feel about comparing what we do with this group to something more abstract. My idea behind this group is just to, uh, to uh, show people that there are other kinds of ways to interpret music they know. When Stefan first asked me if I want to be part of it, I probably sounded somewhat cautious because I was, I thought it was a terribly populistic uh, uh, commercial idea. But of course I said yes because I realized that I was wrong after we had, we started playing. So, so uh, I think we had a way, we found a way how to uh, make the music ours. The fact that we're playing for 15 years together in different constellations is like, I mean, uh, and we still do it and will do it, I think that it's, it's, uh, it's, it says something that, you know, we trust each other so we can go different directions. <laughs> 